Will you please welcome Nicholas Holt? Hey, what a fine figure of a young man. I've got to sit down very slowly because I split my trousers earlier. No, what happened? They're <laughs> sewn together. Where, where did you split them? On, the, on the top of the right cheek. And what happened? I don't know. I, I turned around and luckily my dad spotted it. Uh, so but it's, it's not much of you. It's not much of you. It's not like you're a big uh, muscular fella like me who can flex a cheek and, <laughs> and tear cloth. Well, no. I feel very puny sitting back there next to Sly. I as bet well. you do. Hey, what's your favourite uh, Sylvester Stallone character or movie? Um, Rambo First Blood. I've yeah. just got him to sign my DVD, which no, I've got along, actually, no. yeah. <laughs> so, Did he yeah. sign it and say, by the way, your trousers are ripped, you're showing your ass? <laughs> yeah. Rambo. That'd be a cool autograph. <laughs> that would be a very good one to have. Uh, how nice to have you here, though. I've enjoyed seeing you. I enjoyed very much when I first saw you in a movie when you were a kid way back when. Yeah. But Skins, which I, I, it's not, I don't think I'm necessarily the target audience for Skins, uh, but I've certainly been enjoying it because my daughter is hooked on it and my wife likes it as a result of that. Well, that's very nice. I mean... It's, it's nice that, you know, it has taken off and people do seem to yeah, like it, so um, we never expected it to do as well as it did, really. But do you, I, I imagine, it's a bit like this show, it's mainly a, a teenage audience who watch it because they like the good-looking fellas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but if there are any oldies accidentally watching my show tonight, yeah. who, who, who haven't seen it, OK, yeah. uh, how, how would you describe the show? What is the kind of the nature of it? What, what do you see on any given week? Basically, um, each week focuses on a different member of the main group, uh, so that's the main group there behind you, yeah? That's the main group of us? That's the main group of us, yeah. Um, you know, they're a bunch of uh, kids who are still in college. And it just shows their lives, really. Uh, it shows what's ha going on. And, you know, they've got a great team of writers. And they just kind of show Yeah, it's it an interesting it is. group of writers. I like about them in it. And so the, the guys are meant to be, you're all meant to be, what, 17, 18? Just around the age yeah. you are right now. Yeah. OK, uh, and, and do you think it's an accurate reflection of teenage life in that respect? Because it seems pretty wild to me. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you, you get people asking that quite a lot, whether it's accurate, and it's difficult to say. I mean, it doesn't reflect my life, no. and obviously it's entertainment, so... Um, so they would exaggerate a little bit? They're going to exaggerate, uh, But there seems to be an awful lot of, OK, let's be frank here, shall we? Can I talk to you frankly? By the way, has your dad had that chat with you yet? Because <laughs> I, I don't want to be the one to break certain things to you if you, if you haven't... No, it'd be nice, it'd be nice. Oh, okay. Do you inform me. OK, well, <laughs> because there appears to be uh, <coughs> full intercourse on the show. <laughs> There has, yeah. I did there my first sex scene this year. Right. Terrifying. Now, I have a teenager in my house, my daughter, and she assures me that none of that business goes on. <laughs> that at parties and some such, occasionally, after proper introduction be made, a handshake is given. <laughs> and then maybe three or four years later, your lips are allowed to touch. <laughs> that is the situation, as I'm led to believe. Yeah. You caught each other. You caught each other. Yes. Uh, are people out there banging away like barn doors, though? Is that the case? Because <laughs> I'll be honest with you, if I was watching that when I was a kid, I, I, at that age, I'll be honest with you, Nicholas, I didn't get any action. I didn't get any action, OK? Uh, until I was, I think, 19, I got a, I got a bit of action. <laughs> Not full action, do you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to speak in that code here that people want to... OK, a but little I got, bit of Yeah, action. yeah, so sort of half action. OK. <laughs> What, Just you, you, slightly more than half, half action. action. Okay. <laughs> but it was too quick, the action, because it was because I'd been waiting too long. Is this...? Uh, yeah, well, you, I, you know what I'm talking about. You're a young I, man. I, I do know what you're talking about. But, these, but it seems to me, like now, that the, all the rules are off and people do seem to be quite, quite free with their affection. Would yeah. I be correct? I, don't, I, I mean, I personally haven't experienced it too much, but I think, you know... You know Hold on a second. People no are... one believes you. <laughs> It's a lovely thing to say. You're making me feel a lot better about myself, but no one believes that you haven't been getting more than your fair share, Nicholas Holt. Thank you. Everyone. You're a good-looking young man. You're on the TV. Hey, I was doing an award show last summer, and Nicholas came out to give an award. It wasn't a televised one. It was for a magazine. A lot of very attractive women in the audience, wasn't it? It was for Glamour magazine. And he yeah. came and said, the place went nuts. There were women, and they weren't necessarily young women, throwing their old baggy old M&S knickers up on the stage <laughs> and, you know, ripping off the hormone patches and leaping at him. It was terrifying, uh, I, I, will, I will be honest with you. I, I made friends with one of the tables at the back. <laughs> I, d I didn't really know them, but I did say, like, when I go up, can you give me a big cheer? Because nobody's going to really know who well, I am. Well, now I feel so. foolish, because I believed it. But it wasn't just that one table. The whole room, and you must be getting, I would have thought, a lot of, a lot of attention. I'm sure girls are quite keen to meet you. Um, I don't know. It's got, you, you know, you do get people... Um, 
quite keen to meet you, not just even girls, you know. Um, you get nice people coming up and saying nice things, which is, which is lovely, obviously, and then you get people coming up to you. And I had a bloke come up to me, um, I was filming coming down the mountain in, in Euston Station. And I, I was just standing there, minding my own business, between takes. And um, he just walked over and went, you're that guy from Skins. You're a twat. <laughs> that was it, no explanation, and just walked off. And I, I was kind of stood there, and I was uh, you know, does that hurt? Uh, it must be uh, nice to work on that series. The first time everyone saw you, uh, and I know it was a big hit movie, which I enjoy very much, was in About a Boy. Yeah. I don't know, was that your first big acting job? Yeah, I'd, I'd been doing it since I was um, five. Uh, sort of thing. So just a little, so, there is the, now how old were you when you okay. made that, uh, that, that film? I was 11 then. 11, look at that. Yeah, so seven years ago. Look at that. Uh, and you played Marcus in that, and they gave you just about the worst haircut you could give a young <laughs> kid. And that was for the part, of course. Uh, but was that a kind of, uh, almost a deal breaker for you, or you just happy to go along with it? No, well, yeah, I was kind of, um, they said, like, don't cut your hair, as we started the auditioning, so I didn't. And then, first day on set, out came the scissors and oh. chip chop. Oh. But um, I was at the age where I didn't really care. To well, you look cute with it still, and it's what we, we liked about the character was the fact that he looked a little bit like that, and therefore, you know, you felt all the more sympathy for him. Yeah. Uh, how was it working? <laughs> <laughs> that was meant to be a nice thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, how was Hugh Grant to work with? How was it working he, with you? He was lovely. He, he, was a, he was a great person to work with first, I think, on something like that, because I, I didn't realise when I was doing it just how big it would be and stuff. So. It was good to work with somebody like that who's, you know, he's down to earth and a nice bloke. And he's been through that kind of thing himself. He's gone, been in films that suddenly exploded huge, so we're yeah. expected to. Uh, but did, did you learn much from him? Was he helpful as an actor to an actor? Did he encourage you and help you in that respect? Yeah, he was helpful. I think the main thing I learned from him was just as a, as a kind of role model on how to, like, be around set and how to handle the attention, because I started doing all the press with him as well. Of course, yeah. Which was um, obviously terrifying. I remember getting out of um, the car at Leicester Square for the premiere my knees shaking away and everyone shouting his name like this roar and yeah. kind of walked around with him not knowing what to do but yeah he kind of he's a kind of he's a cool character in that situation yes yeah you know now so you're a young man uh, you're still 18 at the moment do you have any kind of ambitions you want to do not just necessarily work related but stuff you like to do as a young man that's a very good question i don't know i, I just kind of want to keep on doing good stuff really and try and get better as an actor and see what happens. Really. Well, that's very number. What about just hanging out? Do you want to, uh, uh, do you want to hang glide? Do you want to bungee jump? Do you want to, do you want to box? Do you want to learn how to do a backflip on a trampoline? I, I must admit, I did uh, want to box for a little bit because after, the, after seeing the Rocky films. Same here. When I first yeah. saw the Rocky film, I came out convinced I was going to become a world-class boxer. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. <laughs> yeah, I went to one lesson, I got knocked on my ass. Really? <laughs> yeah, but I'm a minus nine in each eye. I couldn't see it coming. I had to take my glasses <laughs> off. Did you ever t do any boxing training? I, I, never, I never actually uh, went to, I just got a punch bag and kind of hit it. There's no not, I shouldn't person. imagine you hit it very hard, Nicholas, because there's not a lot of you, is there, really? I mean, it was uh, uh, more of a rub, was it? <laughs> yeah. It's more of a stroke. Yeah, I, <laughs> I stroked my punch bag. Uh, <laughs> hey, when you go back, squeeze Stallone's arm for me, really. I want to know if it's still all there. Yeah, um, that all right? Great to have you on the show. Oh, no, he's warming up for you. <laughs> uh, he'll give you a few boxing tips. You want to, yeah, come on. Get, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. You've got to put your body behind it. That's what you've got to do. Swing into it. Nice one. Yeah, like I know. Uh, Nicholas, good luck with Skins. It's a great fun series. My daughter's loving it. My wife, curiously, is also hooked, so it's great fun. I'm going to join in. I'm going to jump in with both feet. Great to have you here. Continue success in Thank the acting world. Uh, what a talented young man. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nicholas Holt. Thanks, Nicholas. Great to see you.